Clayton Perry gets probation for a drunken hit and run crash. And if he's successful, he won't end up with a conviction. Garrett Berger is live outside the Justice Center where Perry just appeared in court. Garrett, how did he get this deal and what are the details? Well, Perry pleaded no contest to both misdemeanor charges he faces, DWI and failure to stop and give information. In return, the judge gave him deferred adjudication. That's a special kind of probation where if he completes that over the course of the next year, the cases against him will be dismissed and he will avoid criminal convictions. Now, Perry was accused of having 14 drinks in a few hours and then slamming his Jeep head on into a Honda Civic and fleeing the scene back in November. His attorney contested how much Perry had actually drunk, though, and said he had also been anesthetized for a medical procedure a few days earlier. Talking to reporters after the hearing, Perry said that he took full responsibility and he's doing what he can to make things right. He also noted that he is not running again for city council. Um, I'm going to step aside uh, while I'm going through this process, but, um, you know, who knows what the future will bring, but I'm, I'm just very sorry that this has all happened and um, look forward to the future. The deferred adjudication deal was over the objection of prosecutors. They wanted to give him his probation as well, but the kind that would have required a criminal conviction. And while they called Perry's incidents egregious, the judge called the options prosecutors presented unfair. Now, other terms of Perry's probation include not having any alcohol for a year, having an, interlock, an ignition interlock device in his car for the next six months, and he'll also need to do some community service. And while he might avoid a conviction if he successfully completes this program, it does not mean that his record will be clear. That will still be on his record. Outside the Justice Center, I'm Garrett Berger, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.